This week, communities will be honoring Hawaii's fallen officers. The Hawaii Law Enforcement Memorial Remembrance held a ceremony this evening to mark the beginning of this year's police week. Seven law enforcement officers were added to the memorial. Max Rodriguez reports. The Hawaii Law Enforcement Memorial Foundation is going back in history more than 100 years by adding seven fallen officers onto the Hawaii Law Enforcement Memorial. Today, we remember their courage, commitment, and bravery. We honor their legacy by preserving the memory of their service. The seven officers' end of watch happened between the late 1800s and early 1900s. And they were forgotten somehow, and we want to make sure that it, they're remembered properly and bring them to this place of honor here at the Law Enforcement Memorial. Some of the forgotten officers coming across the foundation's precedent through conversations. They then work with local historians to learn more about the officers' lives and the cause of their deaths. With the seven new additions, a total of 80 officers are currently honored at the memorial. Detective Masa Takakura was killed while he was in a riot, having arrested people for the manufacture of illegal alcohol. What they called blind pigs is in the day, and he was stoned to death for that. Police Week is also a reminder of the dangers the women and men in uniform face every day. Some of the names of the memorial hitting close to home. Troy Barboza is my recruit school classmate. Troy was killed while he slept at home on the morning, morning of October the 22nd, 1987, by a drug dealer that he'd arrested. And as recent as 2020, two Honolulu police officers, Tiffany Enriquez and Kaulike Kalama, were killed on the line of duty while responding to a disturbance in the Diamond Head area. Dedicating their life for the protection of someone else. And that is significant. And that is something that we cannot thank enough. The Honolulu Police Department will be honoring officers with the procession on Monday. It will be starting at the headquarters and ending at the state capitol. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.